Okay, so now we've got your knee a little bit looser using the balls between your knees. What we want to try and do now is get really good at using these muscles around the knees. If we get these nice and strong, it's going to support the joint. So before we start doing dynamic movements, we just want to get really good at contracting them. So we wrap the resistance band around a, like your banister or a door or anything really. What we want to try and do is have the resistance band behind the back of our knee, lock our leg out and just really focus on tensing that quad muscle as hard as you can. Let's do it for 15 to 20 seconds, get really good at tensing it, come out a bit, relax, give your leg a little bit of a shake and then go back into it to tense. 15, 20 seconds, come out of it and go again. Let's do five efforts of that. So what this is going to do over time is get these structures around the knee joint really strong so that when you're doing dynamic movements, they're going to support the knee joint and take pressure off that area. Then we can start going into dynamic movements over time.